Switching and blending animations. In this video we're going to look at how you can switch and blend animations. I got this Knight character from the site BitGem3D. This is a great source of low polygon assets. It comes from the Polygon Knights pack. A huge number of assets are provided for just $20. Compared with a lot of sites this is a bargain. But the package doesn't come with animation provided. So I used Mixamo to create some animations for the Knight characters. First I uploaded one of the Knight characters. To do this simply click on the Upload Character button and follow the steps. If your character starts animating then all is well. I then chose an idle animation and downloaded this as an FBX file including the skin. Then I found other animations and downloaded these without the skin. When I'd finished I had several animations that can be applied to my model. Because they have the correctly named and orientated keyframe tracks for the skeleton in this mesh. It is important to note that the same animations are unlikely to work correctly on another model. In the previous video we had all the animations in a single file. This time they're in multiple files, but that isn't a problem. The template for this video is at this address. Let's start by loading the Knight character with his idle animation. The file is called knight-idle.fbx. See if you can load it and show it in the main window. A variable called asset path is already defined in this file. Pause the video and give it a try. Success! You can enter cons loader equals new 3fbx loader. The file fbxloader.js has been added to this template. Loader.setPath asset path. Loader.load night-idle.fbx object arrow scene.add object update. Oh the poor guy looks quite mangled but don't worry about that for now. When we apply animations it should fix it. Let's get the idle animation working. Add mixer equals new 3 dot animation mixer object. Mixer is a global variable for this template and is updated in the update function. Actions equals om close square brackets. Actions is another global variable. Const action equal mixer dot clip action object dot animations zero action dot play actions dot push action we add the action to the actions array that's better but he has a stray sword and pouch let's just hide them enter const root equal object dot children zero children zero root children three dot visible equal false root dot children four dot visible equal false. Great but he needs a texture. Tweaking your assets in code is quite common and another approach to tweaking them using Blender. Finding the path to the sword and pouch I use the Chrome developer console adding breakpoints to examine the children in the object we had loaded. Can you remember how to add a texture? Yes you enter const map equals new 3 dot texture loader dot set path asset path dot load night dash orange dot png now you apply this texture enter object dot traverse child arrow if child is mesh child dot material dot map equals map now he looks much better we're ready to add some more animations Create an array of animations like this. Anims equals look, jump, die. Now, instead of calling update, remove that and enter load animation loader. Let's take a look at the load animation function. First, it takes the first item from the anims array, which is another global variable, by the way. Now, the anims array will contain just two items, not three. We use the loader pass to this function to load the file named night-anim-whatever. 
the value we just got from the array dot fbx. Once this loads, we create an action from animation zero and push this into the actions array. If the anims array is now of zero length, then we call update. If not, then we load the next animation by calling this function again. There's one little twist and that is the die animation is set to not loop and to clamp when finished. Now we have four actions in our actions array. Let's add some code to the buttons to switch these actions. Enter let index equals zero, const buttons equals document dot get element by ID buttons, buttons dot child nodes for each, button arrow, if button dot inner HTML is not equal to undefined, button dot add event listener click, play action dot bind this index, index plus plus. This code makes each button call the play action function with a different index value starting at zero. It just remains to add the code to the play action function and we're done. Enter const action equal actions index. We get an action from the actions array and the parameter index. Mixer dot stop all action. We stop the previously playing action this way. Action dot reset. This is important. Action dot fade in 0.5. The new action will fade in over 0.5 seconds. Action dot play. We start the new action playing. Now when we click the buttons, they switch the action. Great work. Sometimes you get an asset that has all the animations on a single timeline. Walk might be framed 0 to 30 and idle frames 40 to 100, for example. This video comes from my pack course. Find the course on Udemy by following the links in the description.